I call his music the true music, you know, the true country music. Jimmy Rogers was in on the ground floor of so much of um, what, uh, what entertainment has become in our time. He was actively involved in recording, uh, stage, uh, radio in her very early days. She called me close to her bedside These last few words to say Son, don't start drinking and gambling Promise you'll always go straight Jimmy Rogers was uh, really and truly a blues singer, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He, he was a blues singer with a yo. I, I wanted to know every Jimmy Rogers song there was. Merle was influenced by Jimmy. I mean, everybody's been influenced by Jimmy. I don't think there's an age barrier or like a generational gap at all anymore. Hag would have been in the era where he would have been more influenced by Jimmy. I'm more influenced by Hag. So. I really love the way he sang Jimmy Rogers music. I remember uh, driving around to pick up my dad, and uh, he'd always have either Bob Wills. Uh, Fast Domino, or Jimmy Rogers playing. I've been hearing about Jimmy Rogers practically all my life. I grew up listening to my mother sing Jimmy Rogers songs. My dad, uh, particularly in his early career, was obsessed with Jimmy Rogers. I'm somebody that, that really has never, um, never not known who Jimmy Rogers was. Jimmy Rogers. He was like the grandfather of the Grand Ole Opry. And so Daddy and them went to try out, and they, they selected them and Jimmy Rogers. Well, Jimmy came into my life when I got my first radio. He said they had him sitting back a mile from that mic, and he said they got that echo on it on that T for Texas. Yeah. Uh, I, I was first aware of, of Jimmy Rogers through Lefty Frizzell. And Jimmy Rogers would just cry his heart out, you know, through that, through that yodel. He's a dark and dreary Everywhere I roam Miss the Mississippi And you, dear And the Jimmy Rogers music influence what we know as country. He was uh, the beginning. He was the starter. 